Monsters growing out of the floor. I think this room itself is a monster. It, you know, there's a saying. You can't see the forest for the trees. M maybe that's what this is. Wait, huh? You two know how to fight? Uh, yes! We'll give this thing a taste of its own medicine!
Paul, are you all right? Huh? Oh, it's you. Well, Paul, would you like to thank them? They were very kind. They came all the way here to look for you. Professor Sage! Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you, miss. Now, Paul... I believe I remember telling you that the human ranch was strictly off-limits. Yes, but... you see, I, I... I was patrolling while Lloyd was away. You know that job belongs to the town watch. Do you remember what happens to children who break the rules? Sorry, I still haven't introduced myself. My name is Rain Sage. I teach in Asalia. How do you do? Uh, hi, my name is Emil. And my name is Marta. We're traveling together. There are a few things I'd like to talk to you about, but first let's return to Asalia. Uh, yes. you for saving Paul. Oh, I mean, we, um, we just did what anyone else would have done. Oh? Most people wouldn't risk coming to a place like this for a child they scarcely know. Uh, well... What's with you? I thought you didn't care about Lloyd's Apprentice. And do you have to get all googly-eyed every time you meet a pretty lady? Did you say something? Forget it!
I'm taking Paul home to his mother. Would you two wait for me at the school? Sure. I wonder what she wants to talk about. Yeah, she was glaring at me. Do you think she's Lloyd's teacher? The one the mayor told us about? Lloyd. So Rain was Lloyd's teacher. Looks that way. Murderer's teacher. Calm yourself, Emil. I know. student? Well, I didn't go to school when I was in Lewin. What about in Palma Costa? I, I don't really remember. What about you, Tenebrae? Do Centurions go to school? What do you think? <laughs> you really know how to change the subject, don't you? So you weren't a very good student. Sorry to bring up such a sore subject. <laughs> of Lloyd. Humans never cease to amaze me. Let's have a look at these. I never would have pegged you as an art buff, Tenebrae. How rude. This one appears to have been drawn by Paul, the boy you saved. I love Lloyd. Hmm. How come everyone? Someone's coming. Sorry that took so long. Oh, you've been looking at the drawings. It looks like this one was drawn by Paul, right? He certainly is a big fan of Lloyd's. Paul's father passed away two years ago when the Desayans suddenly attacked Asalia. Lloyd was the one who caused the incident. Well, actually, Lloyd and my brother, that is. So then, why does he... When his father died, he stopped smiling and closed himself in. Lloyd found out when he returned from the journey of world regeneration. He went to Paul's house every day, even though Paul's mother, Lilia, tried to get him to stop. But Lloyd was persistent. Then one day out of the blue, he proposed to Lilia. Proposed? Yes. I think Lloyd wanted to take on the role of Paul's father. And in order to do that, he thought he needed to marry Lilia and make her his wife. But that's ridiculous. <laughs> Lilia was mortified. She was so upset, she took a tomato and threw it right at Lloyd. Lloyd instinctively hit it, which sent it flying at Lilia. And it hit her right in the face. Before they knew it, tomatoes were flying all over the place. When they realized what happened, Paul and Lilia began laughing for the first time in months. I don't want to hear this crap anymore. Everyone's always all, Lloyd this and Lloyd that. I'm sick of it! Why are you even telling us this stupid story in the first place? The mayor told me all about the two of you. 
I think that you should know that I was Lloyd's teacher. I traveled with him for a long time. You wanted to know why everybody here defends Lloyd, correct? Enough! I don't want to hear any more about how Lloyd is innocent in all this! Oh, really? When did I say that? Wait, what do you mean? Are you telling us that you don't trust Lloyd? I thought you were supposed to be his friend. Trusting Lloyd and believing the reports of what happened in Palma Costa are two entirely different things. Furthermore, Lloyd's character and past doings have no bearing on what happened in Palma Costa. Calm yourselves. Otherwise, you will be blind to everything, including the truth. But why would you even care? Maybe I don't care. Unbelievable! Marta... Marta, wait! I wonder what's wrong with Marta. Hmm. Why don't we look for her? I can still feel Lady Marta's presence in town. I doubt she's gone very far. Okay. Why'd you run off like that? Rain seemed like she was on our side. I can't stand people like that. Marta. Rain was Lloyd's friend, so how could she say such cold things about him? If it was me and someone was saying bad things about you, I'd defend you to the end. I mean, you're my friend. I'd get so mad if someone was bad-mouthing you. I'd give him a piece of my mind. I get it now. So that's why everyone defends Lloyd. Huh? There's no point in me getting mad at people just for saying they like Lloyd. We're the same. It's so obvious, but I didn't see it at all. I was too busy being angry. Perhaps that's why Rain suggested that you calm down. Anyone would become mad if someone they liked and trusted was insulted. With that attitude, it's unlikely she'd have told you where Lloyd was, even if she knew. Am I wrong? You're right, Tenebrae. Come on, Marta. Let's go back and talk to Rain. Maybe she'll help us if we explain. All right. What is it, Emil? You look puzzled. I was just thinking about something I found strange about Rain. Strange? Yeah. I thought she'd be really scary when she was scolding Paul. She wasn't at all. When my aunt and uncle scolded me, it was terrifying. I hated them for it. Perhaps you sense the love behind Rain's words. Oh, yeah. I guess my aunt and uncle didn't really love me. Tenebrae, stop that! You're only going to make him more depressed talking about things that you don't know about, like love. How rude. I will have you know that I understand love perfectly well. Love is a brand of egoism that ignores the feelings of its mark while insisting on its own selfish demands. <sighs> Um, 
about before. You don't have to apologize. To you, the fact is Lloyd is the man who killed your parents. But you must understand there are also those who were saved by Lloyd, and they owe him their lives. So do you trust Lloyd? I don't see how my opinion would aid you. I don't get it. You were Lloyd's teacher and friend, right? That's right. I like Lloyd. I think that he's a person I can count on. Those facts haven't changed. But people change, for better or for worse. I don't know what kind of person Lloyd is now. My faith in him is not enough reason to contradict the accounts of those who suffered in the attack on Palma Costa. That's my opinion on the matter. I'm not sure I totally understand. Are you saying you believe us? I'm saying that I believe that the attack on Palma Costa happened, not that I personally trust you. You don't trust us? Do the two of you trust me? We haven't known each other for all that long. I think we both have yet to prove whether we deserve each other's trust. You're just being difficult. <laughs> Is that any way to talk to someone who might have information about Lloyd? You know where he went? If you tell me about your journey, specifically about the Centurion's Cores, then I'll give you a hint. How do you know about the Centurion's Cores? Colette told me about you already. When you told me your names at the Human Ranch, I knew who you were. Marta, what should we do? Let's tell her. Colette wasn't out to get us, and I don't think Rain is either. Very interesting. A Knight of Ratatosk, you say? That's good for now. I'll leave the questions for later. Now then, regarding Lloyd's whereabouts, there's someone in town who says he saw him recently. Really? Yes, Colette's neighbor, Pepe. Let's go and talk to him. <laughs> 